The duration of two different brands of battery A and B is tested. 50 batteries of each type are randomly selected and tested in the same way. The duration of each battery is then recorded. The results of the test are shown in the tables that follow. There's table A, table B. Draw a histogram and calculate an estimate for the, or for the means of both brands of battery. So, drawing the histograms first, so here's the, here's the uh, data for type A. So we'll draw a set of axes. The frequency goes up the side. Now, for a frequency histogram for IB, the height of the uh, bar is the same as the frequency. So this is going to be, first one is 3, next one is 5. You don't actually have to colour it in. The next one is 8, and the next one is 10. The one after that is 12. 7 and 5, 7 and 5. So for type B, as a frequency, we need a slightly higher frequency here because we go up to 23. So putting in the bars again. Okay, because this is a continuous data, the bars can join up. So this one is 10, the next one is going to be 23, so it's quite high. 25, 30, and 30. Five. So that's, that's fairly quite straightforward. However, just looking at that, we can see that these are more average, although the average maybe looks a little bit lower than this one. So you might be asked to actually interpret the um, data. Probably the average of this one is smaller than the average of this one. Uh, and this data, though, is more spread out. So maybe this battery is not quite so reliable as this one, because this, this data is more towards the centre. Right, we can only count an estimate for the mean because some of the date, original data has been lost. So this is how you would do it manually. So estimated mean is type A. So you've got all this here. We've got the midpoint, which we call X. And we've got the midpoint between 0 and 5 is 2.5. The midpoint here is going to be 7.5. The midpoint here is going to be 12.5 and so on. So 17.5, 22.5. 27.5 and 32.5. Here we need to calculate XF, so we need to do 2.5 times 3, which is 7.5, 7.5 times 5, which is 37.5, 12.5 times 8, which is 100, 17.5 times 10, which is 175, 22.5 times 12, which is 270. 27.5 times 7, which is 192.5, and then 32 times 5, which is 162.5. Right, to find the mean, the mean is the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. So the sum of f is 50, adding all these up. We were told the 50 battery, and the sum of xf is going to be this one here, which is 945. This gives me 945 divided by 50, which is 18.9 hours. For type B, doing exactly the same thing, taking the same midpoints, and then working X times F, so 22.5 times 1, 7.5 times 1, 12.5 times 10, 17.5 times 23, 22.5 times 9, 27.5 times 4, and 32.5 times 2. Again, taking the sum of this one, which is 50, and then summing up this one, we get 915, and then using this formula again, we're going to get 915 divided by 50, which is equal to 18.3 hours. So the mean of this one was actually slightly less than this one. OK, so if we now use the GDC to get uh, the same results, OK, so we're going to look at the GDC now. OK, when you turn on the GDC, you get this. So we're just going to put in the go to a spreadsheet mode, which is this one here. Go to a spreadsheet mode and then in the column A, we're just going to call that X, so you can actually label the column X, and we're going to put 2.5, enter, and then the next one will be 7.5. So what we're putting in here is the midpoint. So highlighting those two, and then doing Control, Menu, and then going to Fill, 
and we need to just go down and so we we'll be careful here so here press enter and then it will do them automatically for us we can see we've got 12.5 7.5 22.5 27.5 and 32.5 right from now scroll back up to the top and here we're going to put in f for frequency and then we put in the frequencies carefully three five eight 10, 12, 7, and 5. Scroll back up to the top, and now to get the uh, mean, we go menu, number 4 statistics, stat calculations, and then one variable statistics. We leave this one as one list, because we're only considering one set of data, and we press OK. And we need to change this. The X list was uh, list A, so we put A in brackets, or and then the frequency was F, and it will put the results in the first uh, column available. So we now press OK, and we now get the information we want. See, we get 9.45 as the sum, 18.9 will give us some other data here, standard deviation, which we'll look at in a later video, and 50 items. Okay, we get an estimate for the median as well, which is 17.5. Okay, so what we do uh, next is we can actually do a uh, histogram as well. So to go to that, we'll do the menu. And now this time we need to go to graphing, this one here. We need to be very careful here. Right, so here we need to click to add the X variable and let all the things come and we can see a load of numbers come here and now we need to uh, click this one no sorry we need to right click this one right click a menu right click a menu and then get add y summary list okay and then go for f and then draws the bars however the bars are not joined together like they should be so what we need to do is click on the bar and then go to the bin settings, settings and set them for equal width. So we want the width to be the same as the uh, boundary. So they went from uh, 0 to 5, 5 to 10. So we want these to be 5. And we put the alignment at 0. And then press OK. And we get the bar chart that we want. Okay, if we want to now do the second set of data, if we press uh, this one here, go back to this one here and then change the frequencies to the second one. So just change the frequencies only to put 1, 1, 10, 23, 9, 4, and 2. All right, let's do that again. Let's start again. I didn't scroll to the top, so that's why it didn't work out. So we've got 1, enter. 1, enter. 10, enter. 23, enter. 9, enter. Four, enter, two, enter. Let's scroll this up on back up to the top. And you'll notice now that the total is now 915 like we got before. And the mean is now 18.3. So we didn't have to actually do the calculation again. So that, that was good. So going back to this, there's a load of screenshots. So type A, hit this the screenshots that go with type A of all the steps there. Okay, and let's go type B. I'm just going to do one other thing on type B first. Okay, so if we go to the graph, we can see the graphs change, except the uh, menu, this is not big enough. So if we right click here, and then go to number four, zoom, and number one, window settings, and just change the Y maximum to something like 25, which 23 was the highest frequency, we just get a better looking graph. We'll get everything in it.
So there we go. Changing shows you how to change the frequency. So this has been a graph to show you how to find the mean from continuous uh, group data and how to draw a histogram and how to use the GDC to do the uh, calculations as well.